What is up, guys? It's coffee time. And listen, we got another hip hop blog. How's how's everyone doing out there? Make sure you guys jump in them comments. Let's talk about this. So I did a video the other day about this and was having quite the debate in the comment section about this whole West Side Gun, uh, Eminem, uh, Griselda, Shady Records situation that I've been reporting on for a minute. You know, when it's, people are telling me I'm reaching, I'm tripping, or they're saying, like, if there is a situation there, Griselda's tripping. That Shady Records, Eminem, Paul, that that they're all doing what they're supposed to do. You know, that Griselda's just in their feelings. I, for the record, I don't agree. You know, I continue to say, uh, check the Shady Records track record with artists. And someone said something, too. They were like, yo, Jay, they got... Uh, what do they say, like diamond artists and this and that. Yeah, they got uh, Eminem in, in 50 Cent. Some of the biggest albums ever in the history of hip hop ever came out under the shady aftermath, uh, G-Unit, Interscope machine. Of course, we know this, but we're talking outside of those artists. Other artists that have been signed to the label, things haven't worked out too well. Well, I don't know if you guys caught the latest episode of uh, the Joe Budden podcast is an interesting one. They had a guest on their reason of TDE and I rock with TDE. I like what they do. I feel like their momentum is kind of not what it was before. But listen, I will say, like I was trying to tell someone this the other day, like the statement I'm about to make right now, reason I, didn't, I haven't really like delved into that man's catalog like that. I've listened to his music, but I like, you know what I mean? I haven't really like binged out and listened to all his music because that's what I was trying to say. I was telling someone the other day when I do these blogs, guys, I come correct. I don't just hop on here speaking about something I don't know. And if there's something like in this situation where we're talking about reason and I haven't really like dived into his music like that, I'll let you guys know. You know what I mean? That's how I rock. But get in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think about Reasons Music, about TDE. We know we saw recently there was word, you know, Kendrick was on his way out, starting his own movement, and nothing officially confirmed. To me, it was looking like Kendrick's been on his way out of there. We heard 50 talk about it in that one interview, too. He used it as an example as to how he'd like to forget G-Unit. But anyways, things got interesting, man, because this whole narrative, what I'm talking about with West Side Gun and Eminem. And like I said, this has been going on. There's been some issues between Griselda and Shady. I ain't reaching. Well, that got brought up. And like I said, things got interesting. And then uh, it kind of broke off and segued into a separate, separate conversation that Reason wanted to have. Or not, you know, that he went in to discuss about Griselda and TDE. Well, we, know that, we know that for whatever reason, M doesn't promo much, if any, of Griselda. For whatever reason, it's weird to me, but I don't know the... It's weird. So you hear Maul, man. It, it's weird to him as well. You know what I mean? I'm not the only one that finds this weird, odd, or strange. Who's the first one to not get promoted by M? Tell the truth. <laughs> no, but, but, he's, but Eminem... <laughs> but not only that, Eminem... Eminem has been... Feet on your <laughs> he's been... He's been... Um, <laughs> The fans, the fans get on him a lot about that though. That he doesn't promo, they don't promo artists well up there. Hey, let me help y'all. I, I, I feel like I told y'all this a million times before, but y'all don't have a listen to me. That's not him. That's not him tweeting. But that's yeah. what th now. This is something uh, I've talked about in other videos. Also, when we talk about this whole shady thing, like I said, this is just weird. It just don't make sense to me. But Joe Budden knows about this firsthand. He's discussed this before. But you heard what they're saying. It's not M. I was saying this in my other video. M doesn't really use his social media. Um, it, it's the label. It's it's you know there's they got people who do that. But I feel like M you know could like like in the situation with the Alchemist. I feel like at times M may you know get on there and say yo I want to specifically shout this person out or whatever. You know what I mean and like. And that M should just want to, you know, uh, promo to these guys more. You know what I mean? That's my point, That's too. That's not him Instagram. It shows the label. Not shows the label. Because the label is running his account. This is not an M specific thing. Well, you know, like, M is Paul, the fuck does Paul know about anything? 
He ran Def Jam. What are you talking about? Um, he ran him away. <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> you know, so there you have it. Like, by name, they're calling it out. Paul Rosenberg, they don't think highly of him. And we know Joey has worked, you know, directly with uh, Paul Rosenberg. And, you know, this is something we've kind of heard other artists uh, speak on before. Joe Joe specifically was, you know, one of the main people we heard talk about this when he let it be known he was upset with Shady when he was talking about the whole situation with Slaughterhouse not really working out. Um, Paul Rosenberg rubs a lot of artists the wrong way, I, I guess they'll say or whatever, you know? Like, I don't know, man. But overall, like I said, it's a bad look for M. And I feel like, you know, at times, M does hop on there or tweet and hop on there and post. Like I said, I feel like the Alchemist post really was from Eminem. I don't know. Who knows? But, um, you know, I feel like with Griselda, you know, I'm still sticking to it, that he should want to hop up on his own social media and shout these dudes out. You know what I mean? I know we know at the end of the day, Eminem is a hermit. Someone else said that in my comments also. You know what I'm saying? But... I don't know. It just all don't make sense. It's weird. And uh, I'm not reaching here, like I said, guys. Right. Yeah, but I'm, I'm really not sure what Slim, uh, what Shady or Eminem are doing up there, but they're not doing a good job. No. Nah. Handling no. their artists and pushing their artists. And but Griselda's doing a good job, though. They are. Oh, yeah. They're, they're doing a great job. Yeah, which yeah. I, I, well, I think we spoke about it when they signed. We, I, we didn't even really see the need for them to sign with you. Yeah. All right, man. So, you know, just pointing out I'm not the only one. You know, I would consider uh, Joe, I mean, I'm just Jay Coffee Talk, just some half-assed blogger to a, to a probably a lot of people out there, you know. But Joe Budden's been in the game. You know, he's been on the media side of things. He's been in the game on a major label. You know, he's been with independence. He's been all over the place, you know what I'm saying? And um, they all agree Shady is dropping the ball. Shady Records is dropping the ball once again. You know, whether it be M or Paul or whatever, M ain't using his influence and his power to, uh, you know, to to do Griselda justice, in my opinion. Like I said, though, a lot of people feel like Griselda, uh, in my comments, I've seen people say they feel Griselda is complaining or, or uh, I don't know. We just, there was a lot of narratives about this in my in my last uh, conversation. And like I said, I ain't mad about it. When I make this video, I'm not trying to make this to be like, you know, F you guys or, or anything like that. Like I always say, it's all about talking with the people. We can agree to disagree. I'm just, you know, pointing out that I, I wasn't reaching is basically what I'm saying. We may feel differently about the situation. Some people who, who are, are, you know, view my video or or just in general, some people might feel different ways about this. But what I'm saying is I'm not making up a situation here. There's clearly some disconnect between Shady and Griselda. And something else that they said there is kind of interesting to me. It's something I heard a lot of people say. Griselda didn't need to sign with Shady. Now, what's been pointed out numerous times is it is a distribution deal, you know, um, which explains, you know, what Griselda was trying to get out of this. You know what I mean? To 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 be pushed a little further out there than what their reach could be although their reach was serious you know what i mean um a lot of people feel like maybe uh they should have got down with the rock you know uh, as we see they later got that management deal with the rock but i don't know guys let me know what you think about this but uh there's one more thing i want to talk about in this which i mentioned in the beginning with reason tde and griselda all right, so check it out, man. Um, I did some videos before on this whole situation. You'll see a couple of tweets coming up, one from Conway and one from Westside Gun. And it was regarding a while back, uh, right in, I believe right leading into the new year, into 2020, where they had made some comments basically saying that they're uh, the greatest. You know, it's somewhat because it, it was like in response to TDE and Dreamville getting nominations uh, over Griselda in certain situations or just things along that discussion. You know what I mean? 
and it was getting like pushed out into the the media into the blogosphere and everything that there was like issues between Griselda uh like was throwing jabs at TDE and uh Dreamville but you see these two tweets by Conway and Westside Gun basically saying yo I think we're the dopest ever but I'm not taking nothing away from them guys we're just we're just that nice but shout out to them but on uh, this episode, like get in the comments, guys. Let me know if you guys listen to this, to this full episode. Reason, um, you know, when this whole discussion of Eminem, this West Side Gun, this situation going on came up. He when they were talking about West Side Gun, he was basically like, yeah, the, the dude with the ad libs. But he wasn't really taking a shot at him. You know what I mean? By saying that he was. I felt like he was just kind of saying like, yeah, that's that's the one. But he was kind of acting like he only knows Benny, basically. But he went on to say, yeah, he's been taking some shots at us. He's been taking shots at us and went on to talk about a situation where they were going to, uh, you know, rap. He was going to hit the stage with Griselda at an Apple Music event or something like that. And he had chopped it with Benny and everything was good to go. And then um, when it came time, they were like, yo, we, we don't have uh, we don't have the capacity to fit another rapper up there. And he he kind of basically said that it felt like they weren't messing with him. You know what I mean? But I don't know, man. You guys get in the comments and let me know what you think about that and just what you think. Like I said, I have other videos on the channel about this, but what you think about uh, like comparison wise Griselda to TDE uh, to Dreamville, you know, and um, another thing Reason did say, though, right, referring to Griselda is, yeah, they release a lot of music, but to me, it's it's not really about the quantity, it's about the classics, and that kind of sounded like a subtle shot to me, but I mean, I guess that just goes by who's listening, because to me, Griselda, yes, they drop crazy music, you know, and, and some people find that a little irritating. They can't keep up on the music. Like, you know, we already know West Side Gun got like three pro projects in 2020. But I feel like every album has multiple classics on it. I don't know. You guys let me know if you agree. Let me know what you guys think about everything else I, I touched on on here. And, uh, you know, make sure to subscribe, guys. Hit the bell. Like I said, daily videos. I'll be back. I'll tap in with you guys on the next one. Let's talk in them comments. I'm out of here. Peace.